Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Plummer here welcoming you to a brand new episode of IWC Aftershock where this week we're going to be releasing a new segment each and every night of the week. And we're going to be taking a look back at Proving Ground and a look ahead to Cage Fury 2014. Now if we're going to start off with Proving Ground, we got to kick things off with the main event of the evening. It was RJ City, the Super Indie Champion, defending his title against the underdog Keith Hot. Now this was actually a highly contested match, even though RJ City thought it was going to be a cakewalk. And in the end, Keith Hot was crowned your new Super Indie Champion, but... Only for a minute because because of Justin Labar's shenanigans once again, RJ City retaining the title, walking out of White Oak, still your super indie champion, and heading into Cage Fury to defend that title once more. For that very moment in time. I was a champion. I truly thought I won. I beat him. It's, it was the most amazing rush I've ever felt in my life. Being champion. Until Justin Labar took that from me. One thing is for certain, though. I know that I can beat you, RJ! I know that I can beat you! ever have the chance to do it again, I know in my heart of all my being that I can do it, RJ. I beat you. I will. I swear. I swear to God, I will take that IWC Super Indie Championship. So it's, it's really tough to see a, a great guy like Keith Hot just so depressed and so upset over the events that took place in that match. But hopefully the kid can bounce back. Hopefully he gets another shot at that Super Indy title somewhere down the line and, and we'll see some redemption for the Bearcat. Now in the meantime, Cage Fury, it is set. Another Super Indy title defense this time. It's RJ City with Justin Labar battling a man fresh off of American Ninja Warrior, one of the best wrestlers in the business today, M-Dog 20, Matt Cross. Now folks, stay tuned right here on this YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter at Plumber Loves You. Follow IWC on Twitter at IWC Wrestling because later tonight we're going to have some words from RJ City as he prepares for Matt Cross at Cage Fury. And then tomorrow night, after that match, there's got to be a new number one contender. And at Cage Fury, there will be a four-way dance inside of the 15-foot high steel cage to determine that new number one contender. We'll reveal those participants tomorrow night, and you'll see a man facade in a way you've never seen him before. But until then, folks, we are all out of time. If you're still with us, you just survived the Aftershock.